a new human-like species. They're thought to be more than three million years old. At this time, 40,000 years ago, we see evidence. Paleontologists discovered fossils inside Mammoth Cave. Now, this is quite a discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll. It's almost like a warehouse of human bones. Remnants of long-lost civilizations lead us to ancient artifacts and even enigmatic creatures that had been locked away for millennia in these forgone caves. Bizarre, terrifying, and downright creepy. Join us to witness what these teenagers found in a cave that shocked the entire world. The Crystal Maiden. I may discover that this Maya woman had been disemboweled, with her entrails offered up to the gods. Beneath the lush jungles of Belize, a subterranean wonder known as Aktun Tunichil Muknal Cave cradles the enigmatic crystal maiden. Thousands of caves throughout the world with captivating histories, Tunichil Muknal is extraordinary because it reveals many clues to the This ancient Mayan cave was discovered back in the 1980s, and they believe it to be a ritual site because of the perfectly preserved skeleton of a young woman. Due to the Mayan traditions, they think that she was an offering to the gods. She has been dubbed as the Crystal Maiden because her bones have taken on a crystallized appearance due to centuries of calcification. If you venture any deeper, the importance of this archaeological treasure becomes more significant. What's interesting on this skull is the uh, hole that you can see on top of it. The Crystal Maiden represents a deep connection to Mayan rituals, telling us about the spiritual practices of an ancient civilization. A Lipotripa Cave Scientists have exhumed more than 150 bodies. In Greece, the Alepotripa cave is a location that is filled with mysteries that are concealed beneath the Earth's surface. It was initially discovered in the 1950s, and explorers found human habitation dating all the way back to the Neolithic era. You see, among the centuries-old stalagmites, the cave's secrets unfold, a unique burial chamber called the Room of the Fallen Warriors. The cave's chambers are filled with ancient footsteps, tools, and human remains. In these chambers, skeletal remains show a community that found shelter and ritualistic purpose within Alepotripa's subterranean expanse. It's the richest cave in Greece and uh, one of the richest in uh, Europe. And this isn't just a cave, but more like a time capsule where remnants of a bygone era come to life. Labyrinth of Bones Stop, this is the Empire of the Dead. It's almost like a warehouse of human bones. Right under the busy streets of Paris, there's this mysterious place called the Catacombs. Believe it or not, they were actually quarries. But these winding tunnels gained a lot of fame in the 18th century, when the remains of millions found a final resting place within their dark recesses. We don't know which bone goes with which. Sometimes it's almost a decoration where they put them. They were established to address the issue of overflowing cemeteries, but soon after, the catacombs became a private storage for the deceased. Going down this otherworldly maze, visitors will encounter a haunting spectacle, neatly arranged bones forming intricate patterns along the narrow passages. Some people even like to explore these catacombs. Let me know in the comments if you would do the same. Altamura Man Italian archaeologists have found the remains of nine Neanderthals in a cave near Rome. Italy's Lamalunga Cave has a captivating archaeological marvel, the Altamura Man. When he was discovered in 1993, people were unsure what they had found. It turns out this Neanderthal skeleton, now known as the Altamura Skeleton, had been perfectly preserved within the cave walls. Altamura Man lay untouched for over 170,000 years. The fragile nature of the skull led researchers to leave it undisturbed, preserving this extraordinary find in its natural state. But a breakthrough in the study occurred when scientists successfully extracted DNA from Ultimura Man's right shoulder blade. Like this, any scientific re result uh, has to be um, tested by others. Despite uh, displaying typical Neanderthal features, Ultimura Man had peculiarities such as massive brow ridges unseen in other specimens. This provided experts with concrete evidence of the lifestyle of this civilization. Unknown Human Species 
a new human-like species. They're thought to be more than three million years old. Within the rising star cave system in South Africa, a groundbreaking discovery changed the perception of human evolution. In 2013, a team of cavers stumbled upon a concealed chamber known as the Dinaledi Chamber, where an extraordinary collection of hominid fossils were found. The fossils are now called Homo naledi, and the nature of their discovery is nothing short of a feat. The expedition, led by paleoanthropologist Lee Berger, employed innovative techniques in order to recover the fossils. They were only accessible through a tiny chute, and the chamber's secrecy suggests that it might have been intentional. This star will throw a little more light on our understanding of where we come from. You see, these fossils exhibited a unique mixture of primitive and modern features, making scientists question exactly what they thought they knew about evolution. Cheddar Man. He has quite a large, significant hole over the top of his right eye. What if I told you this Paleolithic individual was found in England and is 10,000 years old? He got his name from the cave he was found in, Cheddar Gorge, back in 1903. But Cheddar Man's significance goes beyond just his old age. In 2013, a groundbreaking DNA analysis and facial reconstruction exhibited surprising revelations about his appearance. He had dark skin, blue eyes, and curly hair. I assume that's going to be a big surprise uh, to most members of the public. I think it would be fair to say that he's more a European. Than a he. revelation that challenged what people thought early Britons looked like. Cheddarman's existence, due to his skeletal remains, serves as a portal to an era when hunter-gatherers roamed Britain's landscapes. Early Humans Digging here is almost sure to make an interesting find. The Atapuerca Caves in Spain are a treasure trove of archaeological wonders. Why? Because these caves have a wealth of early human fossils and stone tools. When archaeologists came across these caves back in 1994, they found over 6,000 remains. Excavation work has been conducted here for the past 30 years. The skull of a human ancestor, half a million years old, was unearthed here. This is where it got its name, Cima de los Huesos, or the Pit of Bones. These fossils were 430,000 years old, and because they were so old, Excavating them had to be done very carefully. But the Pit of Bones is not the only thing these caves were hiding. They were also artifacts from the Lower Paleolithic to the Bronze Age. The stone tools that were scattered across the cave floors show the advancements of early human societies. Skull Rack Now, this is quite a discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll. A discovery that was initially mistaken for a crime scene turned out to be a profound archaeological revelation. The team just unearthed this new section under Mexico City, uncovered skulls of men, women, and children. Approximately 150 skulls were found in a cave in Chiapas, Mexico. They were carefully arranged and dated back to the period between AD 900 to 1200. After studying them, they found these to be part of an ancient sacrificial ritual of the pre-Hispanic Mesoamerican culture. The perfectly placed skulls show a practice that has spiritual significance, much like civilizations like the Aztecs and Maya. But let's be honest, some practices are best forgotten and buried. Cannibal Neanderthals Beneath the surface of Belgium's Goyet Caves lies a revelation that absolutely terrified archaeologists. We recognize cut marks, percussion damage, and even human tooth mark. The discovery of cut marks on bones that were found deep inside the cave are evidence of butchery. Experts went one step ahead and suggested that there may have been a practice like eating their own. But that's not all. These findings are thousands of years old. At first, it was just an idea that Neanderthals used to eat one another and was met with a lot of skepticism, but gained credibility after this intriguing discovery. The cave has yielded amazing artifacts, both increasing and challenging archaeologists' understanding of Neanderthal behavior. Mammoth Cave Paleontologists discovered fossils inside Mammoth Cave. Every little piece is some kind of fossil. 
a recent paleontological discovery has come to light. The discovery of a new shark species named Strigolotus telesinae. For over 100 years, it was only known from teeth. We've identified actual skeletal remains of this shark right here at Mammoth Cave. There it was found when the Paleontological Resources Inventory, conducted by Mammoth Cave and the National Park Service Paleontology Program, were studying the cave walls. They found small, spoon-like teeth embedded in the cave's walls and ceiling. These delicate fossils, belonging to Strigolotus, represent a previously unknown shark species. Yeah, as if we needed more predators. But this discovery makes people wonder, what if something much bigger than Jaws once existed? Or does it still exist? What do you think? Cave Ghost It's an ice man, it's a ghost. Jesus, what is that? Within the Austrian mountains, there was a once hidden site known as the Ice Cave. And this is where an unusual phenomenon left the internet in uproar. One tourist was filming the eerie beauty of this frozen sanctuary when a mysterious figure was caught climbing the cave's ceiling. Dubbed as the Ice Cave Ghost by the viewers. Someone climbing up the wall, it's an ice man, it's a ghost. This spectral anomaly sparked an online debate about the video's authenticity. But once the video started circulating more and more, other tourists also started talking about how they had seen it too. This only made the video more credible. The ghost does defy easy explanation. Was it a play of light, a camera glitch, or a genuine supernatural occurrence? Alien in Cave <laughs> In Sagata, Philippines, an eerie spectacle unfolded when an otherworldly creature was captured on film. The creature had a colossal skull that looked like the iconic Indiana Jones artifact. With its long, bony arms, it appears to be going after the people recording it. Was it fending off humans, protecting an unknown civilization within the cave, or something beyond our comprehension? And the video itself is quite elusive. No information exists about who recorded it, or when it was recorded. Which just makes it even more mysterious if you ask me. But ever since it was uploaded, the cave has become a place where most dare not venture. The cryptic creature does make you question what we know of reality. Crystal Cave But these crystals formed in extreme heat when this chamber was filled with water. This extraordinary cavern, discovered in 2000, houses massive transparent gypsum crystals that defy the imagination. Some of these crystalline giants stretch over 36 feet in length. That's the size of an average humpback whale, by the way. These colossal crystals are informed overnight. Oh, no, no. As mineral-rich waters flow through the cave over millennia, they leave behind a residue that forms these magnificent structures. And since this is the only cave in the world with such features, it has become a geological treasure trove for both scientists and tourists. Movila Cave Believe it or not, this cave has been isolated for millions of years, which has made this dark place filled with toxic air, a treacherous journey for explorers. You see, the cave's air holds less than half the oxygen found in the open, and is also mixed with carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. In 1996, a study by the University of Cincinnati was done on the cave, and they identified 48 species, 33 of which are only found inside here. Spiders, pseudoscorpions, wood lice, centipedes, leeches, snails, and many more. But how did they survive without sunlight? The lack of photosynthesis has led to the creation of chemosynthetic bacteria, a unique energy source that sustains the cave's vibrant and bizarre inhabitants. Venus of Holofels Dating back to approximately 35,000 to 40,000 years, this ancient figurine is one of a kind. At this time, 40,000 years ago, we see evidence for musical instruments, a range of personal ornaments. It was found in the Swabian Jura of Germany and has become an iconic representation of a female figure. Made from mammoth ivory, the sculpture stands as one of the earliest known depictions of the human form. 
It was found alongside a bird statue, which was crafted from ivory and is filled with symbolic meaning. The amazing craftsmanship, despite the tools of that era, shows the creativity of early human societies. Cave of Horror it's the most amazing thing I encountered, I, I found, I've seen in my life. Researchers found a 6,000-year-old mummified skeleton of a child. Recent excavations of a cave in Israel have revealed amazing things. Archaeologists found a cache of additional Dead Sea Scrolls within the cave. Originally discovered in the mid-20th century in the nearby Qumran Caves, it revolutionized our comprehension of biblical history and religious thought. These recent findings in the Cave of Horror are continuing the ongoing research of these scrolls. Each fragment has inscriptions that date back to over two millennia. Now that's a lot of history! The scrolls are really important for scientists and historians, as it provides them with information about ancient Judea that they never thought of. But one thing is for sure, these recent discoveries have reignited the flame of curiosity as scientists from all over the world try to decipher the scrolls. Bear Cave A group of hikers heard loud sounds coming from a nearby cave, and as they got closer, they found themselves face to face with a creature believed to be an angry 10-foot bear. But there's more to the story than what first meets the eye. The hikers immediately contacted animal rescuers because it was a race against time to free the bear and ensure its safety. Once the rescuers arrived, they faced a challenge. The cave's entrance was blocked by rubble, trapping the bear inside. They knew they had to use heavy machinery to free it. Although the bear was thought to be an angry predator, it showed no hostility whatsoever. Instead, it retreated gracefully into its natural habitat. Ecuador's Incident High in the mist-shrouded mountains of Ecuador, a group of explorers stumbled upon an incident that unfolded four decades ago in 1976. They found wreckage that was frozen in time. This discovery was of none other than the tail of a passenger plane carrying 59 souls that met a fateful end. Among the scattered wreckage lie newspapers, frozen in the headlines of the day they disappeared. Identification cards of the passengers were also found all over the snowy floor. Experts could not believe what they had found. And honestly, I would be as shocked as well. But this discovery of the fateful day is definitely one of the most daunting finds ever. Mountain Chronicles In the rugged edges of mountains, cliffs, and rock faces, something unusual has been found ancient writings that have been carved into the very bones of the earth. Manuscripts, weathered by the relentless passage of time, have surfaced on these lofty canvases. They are said to be a staggering 100,000 years old, and who carved them? No one knows for sure. Researchers have tried to decipher these manuscripts, but to no avail. Whether ritual or spiritual, they are a sight to behold as mountain surfaces are unlikely of places where anyone would find such things. Cave paintings. They have taken uh, advantage of the strip of rock 16 feet from the top of the hall. Hidden away in southwestern France's Dordogne region lies a bizarre treasure trove of Lascaux Cave, a place where time seems to stand still. Approximately 15,000 years old, the cave paintings within this cave show the daily lives and spiritual connections of our Paleolithic ancestors. There are delicate strokes of ancient hands that can be found on the cave walls, with a vivid collection of animals and scenes of time long gone. But what is truly astonishing is that these masterpieces were made with an astonishing level of detail and sophistication. Even though this was found more than a decade ago, Researchers are still determined to find the purpose behind them. Caves of Myth It's a cave with one entrance to land and another one that exits to the sea. Along the rugged Atlantic coast of Morocco, the Caves of Hercules are a doorway into ancient mythology. The caves portray the legendary hero of ancient Greece. 
According to ancient tales, these caves were the resting place of Hercules, where he came to relax after completing his 12 labors. Now, myth aside, there is something else that is truly baffling. The entrance to the caves is what intrigues so many visitors, as it resembles a map of Africa, which is rather remarkable. Legends further intertwine with reality, as the caves of Hercules reveal a chamber known as the Council Chamber of Phoenician Mariners, believed to have been used by ancient mariners for meetings and shelter. Ice Cave the Ice Cave just doesn't have mythical creatures, but has made a name for itself through its magnificent interior. This masterpiece is known as the world's largest ice cave, due to the towering ice structures. The cave's name, Ice Riesenwelt, means the world of the ice giants. Towering stalactites and stalagmites made by the freezing water droplets create an incredible landscape that seems to be part of a fictional world. One of the cave's highlights is the Hymn of the Spheres, a cathedral-like chamber where massive ice columns rise to meet the ceiling. This celestial space and colossal ice formations have decades-old history frozen within them. Mayan Marvels The Yucatan Peninsula's Balamku cave system has revealed secrets of Mayan history that were once forgotten. The discovery of 1,000-year-old artifacts linked to the mystic jaguar god is nothing short of a treasure trove. They have found ceremonial items, pottery, and offerings within the cave. Since the cave has a lot of symbolism and depictions of that animal, researchers believe it to be an altar of sorts, a place where the Mayans would come and worship. The sealed environment of the cave has left it untouched for centuries. This proves that not only was the animal sacred, but the whole site held significance for this civilization. And now, studies are being conducted to further understand this mysterious civilization. Mystery of Longyu Caves When a local villager came across this cave back in 1992, he thought he had entered the Pearly Gates. And ever since then, these caves have captivated the imagination of archaeologists and researchers, earning it the name Mystery of the Longyu Caves. Somehow, these structures were once misunderstood as natural formations, but the caves revealed their artificial nature when inspected closer. The caves, with the largest measuring 30 meters in depth, 10 meters in height, and 9 meters in width, showed remarkable precision. Consistent patterns have been carved on the walls, ceilings, and pillars, and they exhibit advanced engineering skills that raise questions about the civilization responsible. It dates back around 2,000 years, possibly to the Han Dynasty. The exact age is still not confirmed, which just contributes to the mystery of these caves. Disturbing Cave Renowned as one of the world's deepest caves, this location unveils a disturbingly beautiful landscape. The cave has unique formations, including the mesmerizing gypsum chandeliers. These chandeliers dangle from the cave ceiling, resembling otherworldly crystal artistry. And when it's dark, which it usually is, the formations are even more breathtaking. They glitter due to the way their crystalline nature works. But it's not a place for everyone. The cave contains challenges like extreme conditions such as total darkness, and explorers have to navigate through challenging passages and chambers. Scientific exploration of Lechugia Cave has revealed not only its geological wonders, but also the importance of preserving this delicate environment. Viking Sword In 2017, a hiker found a Viking sword in Helkeli, Norway. He did not know what to do, so he sent it to a nearby research lab, and what they found was extraordinary. Experts found out that the sword was around 1,200 years old. But what actually surprised them was the condition of the sword. It was well preserved. Quite well. Maybe a bit too well. There was little to no rust. No decay. Almost as if it were protected by some mystical force. Given the sword's age and the typically corrosive forces of nature, it should have been a pile of rust. Yet it wasn't. Peruvian Mummies oh, 
In a captivating archaeological revelation, Peruvian researchers have unearthed a remarkable find in the heart of Lima. They stumbled across a collection of mummies dating back over a millennium. They also believe them to be the remnants of the Yichma culture. Four mummies, suspected to be of adolescence, were discovered alongside the remains of an adult on a small hill. The possible location of a temple that stood some 3,500 years ago. Archaeologists also said this is where the Yichma people chose to lay their deceased to rest. The mummy skulls, remarkably preserved even though they're thousands of years old, still have traces of hair. Ceramics were also found next to them, showing cultural and ritual practices of the Yichma people. Look in a Jama. How does anything survive where there is no light? Well, be prepared to meet Zaspium Thalassum. It's a unique cave-dwelling snail that is only found in Lukinajama, Trojama cave system in Croatia. And there is no ray of sunlight here. However, the cave-dwelling snail has made it its home. This remarkable species has adapted to the utter darkness, evolving distinct characteristics in response to its challenging habitat. The snail's translucent shell and slow-paced movements are evidence of peculiar adaptations that enable it to survive in the cave. Lukinajama has become a haven for this unique snail, as it evolved over thousands of years in order to survive here. Ancient Flames The structures all show signs of burning, suggesting fires blazed inside the cave. Approximately 30 miles from the vibrant city of Toulouse, France, 175,000-year-old stalagmites were found back in 2016. These formations aren't your ordinary stalagmites, as researchers found them to be burnt and were not made by nature. According to archaeologists, these fire-scorched structures were made by Neanderthals, and for a very specific purpose. Although the exact purpose is still heavily debated, many believe them to be either part of a ritual or just a bonfire. But one thing is certain that these formations were indeed made by hand due to their deliberate placements. So let me ask you this, how close do you think we are to our ancestors? Frozen in time. World War II servicemen in California? That's strange. Two climbers on the summit of Mendel Glacier noticed a strange piece of debris buried in the snow. As they moved towards it, they started noticing a piece of fabric surrounded by some debris. To their shock, it was a frozen corpse, lying face down, with its arms spread across, still half buried in the snow. They noticed that there was something off with the skull, and as you can see, he was also missing a leg. His face is practically unrecognizable, but he still had his hair. They noticed an open parachute stuck to his body of the U.S. Army Air Corps a soldier from World War II. What was he doing so far away? What do you think? Nazca aliens. Three long fingers, very long. Our whole mission is just pure curiosity. What could it be? In a perplexing tale that began in the spring of 2017, Nazca, Peru, a scientific investigation was conducted on six otherworldly mummies with three-fingered hands. The largest mummy, named Maria, particularly sparked intrigue and skepticism alike due to her hands. Yet results from tests on Maria's hands compared to the rest of her body. They did something with the skull to change it. They did something with the hands to make it have this appearance. Showed no signs of her being a hoax, leaving researchers baffled. Maria, revealed to be a female through scientific scrutiny, has been carbon dated at approximately 1,700 years old. Intriguingly, the mummies contain metals that defy the technological capabilities of their historical era. The universities involved in the investigation are trying to unveil the purpose behind these metallic elements. Medieval Chamber This is really creepy. Explorers were searching an abandoned castle in France when they stumbled upon a haunting discovery. Deep inside the castle's basement, they found a cave that revealed a medieval secret chamber. The chilling exploration was captured by their drone, as it was too deep to venture into. Within the chamber was a collection of bones scattered all over the floor. 
in the footage, you can clearly see two skulls lying together with rusted old wires coiled together. The wires could have been used for nefarious reasons, but there is no history of the previous owner, which makes this whole exploration even more sinister, because no one knows for how long this has been going on. Hanging Snakes Oh, shit. In the village of Cantemo, Mexico, the Cave of the Hanging Snakes, also known as the Bat Cave, is not for the faint of heart. Locals gave it that name for good reason. It has swarms of bats that make the walls into leathery, frenzied clouds. Now imagine this. High above, snakes lurk in the ceiling's cracks, patiently awaiting the bat's entry or exit. As the bats swirl, the snakes, like mythical creatures, dangle down and snatch their prey midair. But that's not all. Go any further, and you'll encounter a flooded section where blind albino crustaceans live. These ghostly creatures add another layer of mystery to an already strange setting. Freemason Cave. It's oh, look at that. Like a cave with a Freemason sign at the entrance was recently discovered. But no big deal, right? Well, here's where it gets weird. Just beyond that sign, a rusted gate was found that looked like it hadn't been used for quite some time. The explorers came across something they did not expect. Neatly piled inside were a collection of shoes. Not just any shoes. These were the kind that fit the feet of youngsters. And that's when it got worse. In the pile were bones. It wasn't just about secretive meetings. There was something more happening here. Benches, chairs, more bones were enough to make the explorers run out of there. What do you think this cave had been used for? Cyclops. The location of this specific cave is unknown, and for all the right reasons. A hiker came across an entrance with stairs leading downwards. As he continued on, he came across a site that could signal the end of times. On the wall of the mountain, he found a face that resembled a cyclops. Its mouth and nose looked eerily human, but the one eye in the middle of the face is what has been troubling people online. As soon as the video surfaced, people began talking about how this cave could very well be associated with religious doctrines. The entire cave looked abandoned, and with a single entrance, that just made it even more creepy. I don't know about you, but it's possible the books were right. It's time for today's open discussion. In Atacama, Chile, a disturbing mystery unfolded on March 23rd, 2018. A group of curious explorers stumbled upon skeletal remains so bizarre that they believed it to be extraterrestrial. At first glance, the tiny skeleton seemed otherworldly, small enough to cradle in the palm of one's hand. This obviously took the internet by storm. If there's one tiny skeleton, there's bound to be more. Like formations of thousands upon thousands of alien eggs. However, collaborative research by various scientists delved into the genetic code of Atta, revealing a staggering 64 unique genetic mutations. The skeleton featured 10 pairs of ribs instead of the usual 12. Contrary to the extraterrestrial narrative, Atta emerged as a human being. <laughs> 